My name is Diram Duba. I work with the AMREF Health Africa as an adult facilitator in an anti-FGM project. My name is Nais Nailante Lengete and I work for AMREF Health Africa as the uh, NFGM Global Ambassador. I'm a female dental mutilation survivor. I've gone through it uh, at the age of nine, so I know the negative effects of FGM. That's why I'm fighting to make sure that other younger girls do not go through it. And uh, what inspired me to do the work that I do right now that is fighting for the rights of girls and women on the fight against female genital mutilation is because for me, I was supposed to undergo the cut when I was eight years old, but because I've seen friends leaving school and being married at that early age, I saw you know, how their future was really destroyed because of the cut. And uh, people who supported me in my journey is my, grand, my grandfather and, uh, and my sister who had to sacrifice herself to undergo the cut so that I have a chance to continue with school. So the people who fought for me, that's why I am the woman I am today. Because I couldn't do it for her is what that is making me to make one to fight for the rights of other girls and women all over the world. Change comes from within. We need to work together. Um, especially for the, I'm an anti-FGM advocate, so it's important that people come together to end female genital mutilation. Uh, so me, if I think of power, everyone has power. You know, it's just that we have power in different ways. Like, uh, really, I've been attending so many different sessions this week, and I've just realized that everyone who is here in this conference, in this room, we just have power. It's just because we are special and we are working on different issues. But I believe people should use their power positively. People should use their power to make sure that they make positive impact. It can be any job or it can be mentoring young girls, it can be ensuring that women you know, are empowered, not just with information but also economically. And I would say probably let people use power to bring female genital mutilation to an end. You know? And I really like that my own president two days ago and even today he committed to use his power to end female genital mutilation to bring female genital mutilation to an end by 2022. So that's the power that we want, positive power. Just, you know, don't use your power to do something that is negative. Use it in a positive way. Yeah.